In vegetable production, growers use many strategies to increase yield and therefore profit. An overlooked strategy to increase yield is to continue harvesting and market through alternative channels. In North Carolina and nationwide, vegetable crops that never leave the farm have the potential to increase yield up to an estimated 20%. When crops are left unharvested, there is a loss of potential yield, but also a loss of water, chemical inputs, labor, and land use. When you decide it's time to stop harvesting a field, take a sample and do some quick calculations to determine how much opportunity you have to grow your yield and further market the crop you have put so much work into. Combining this information with the labor efficiency unique to your operation, you'll be able to confidently decide whether to continue the harvest or not. You may be able to grow your yield with the crop you've already produced. You'll need harvest containers, measuring tape and flags, and a weighing scale that is accurate to 100 pounds or so. You need to know the row spacing, acreage in the field, and quality specifications for what is marketable to your group of buyers. Mark three sample rows randomly in the field, 50 feet long. Three randomly chosen rows are ideal for sampling to account for differences in harvesting techniques and variable field conditions. Identify a row A, B, and C. You can use shorter rows, but your estimate may not be as accurate. Using this method with three 50-foot rows will take one person up to three hours. Rows should be harvested into any harvest containers. All of the remaining vegetables, including damaged vegetables, should be harvested. Sort the harvested produce into three categories. The categories that may help you determine what is marketable are marketable, edible but not marketable, and inedible. If you want to determine only a certain grade, for example number one or jumbo in sweet potato, you can use the same technique. Marketable is unique to every grower based on their buyer's specifications. For sweet potato, this may mean three to nine inches in length and one and a half inches in diameter and up you'll probably be able to tell what's marketable without measuring. Edible but not marketable just means those sweet potatoes that have good eating quality but fall outside marketable range for size, shape, or blemishes. In this case, it means less than three inches or more than nine inches in length, less than one and a half inches in diameter, as well as those that are seriously cut. Inedible produce means those that are decayed, have evidence of disease or insect damage, or otherwise not usable for human consumption. Weigh each sample category, remembering to subtract the weight of the harvest container. Record the weights in pounds for each of the categories. Now you can calculate how much marketable produce is in the field, along with the amount of edible quality produce that can be marketed through alternative channels. Determine how much of the field you sampled. Multiply the number of rows by the length of the rows you sampled and by the row spacing. The portion of the field sampled here was 500 square feet. Then estimate how much marketable produce is in the field. Total the weight of marketable sweet potatoes found in the sample area. Set up a ratio with X serving as the unknown amount of marketable sweet potatoes per acre. We found 48.35 pounds in 500 square feet, and an acre contains 43,560 square feet. The amount of marketable produce in one acre of this field is about 4,212 pounds. Multiply by the number of acres to determine the harvest potential in this field. In a 20-acre field, the calculation looks like this. In this field, we had 48.35 pounds of marketable sweet potatoes in the sample, and so we end up with 84,245 pounds. This is the estimated amount of marketable sweet potatoes in this 20-acre field. Divide by the number of pounds in a box and see the harvest potential of the field. Repeat the calculation with the edible total if a buyer is available for that level of quality. If the edible category is especially large, try marketing the crop to an alternative buyer, such as an ugly produce program, a processor, fresh cut operation, restaurant distributor, or food bank. You can determine what percent is marketable in the field by adding up the total volume and dividing each category by that number. This gives you a split of quality available in the field. You can also consider the yield you've already taken from the field. Divide the marketable volume you found per acre by your yield per acre in pounds, and you'll see by exactly how much you can grow your yield. Have a great season!